we've got a monopoly on fun this week with no risk of disappointment. Don't get caught in other podcasts' mouse traps. Stick with us. We're your axis and allies in this chess game we call the game of life. Everything else is a trivial pursuit. Yeah, I know. I found it in this week. Just like Liam Neeson. We watched Clue and Battleship. Ah, the French champagne. Champagne, champagne. <laughs> the schlocky movie from this week may be the schlockiest film we've ever seen on this podcast. <laughs> I'm Mr. Pink. Mm-hmm. Says Blue. So Miranda hasn't seen Reservoir Dog. <laughs> Those men's children are all identical clones of Adolf Hitler. Once they were men. Now they are land crabs. Amanda Bynes is a national treasure. There's like a bunch of other shit that happens in Driven. Is there? Secret Nazis. Yeah. S- secret Nazis. I mean, Daddy lost his eagle. I hope so, no one from my family listens to this <laughs> podcast. The Citizen Gain of the Week is... Poisson. Petite poisson. No. Petite. Petite poisson. What is it? What's a poisson? Fish. fish. Petite fish, a small fish? A small fish. A small fish? It's a baby fish. The baby fish? It is a delicacy where I'm from. Is it going to be any fish? Just fish, general fish? Yep. <coughs> Much like we use the word fish. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very good. <laughs> All right. Hi. We're going to finally start the podcast. Yay. Uh, I, I'm putting on my podcast voice. Um, I've put on my podcast pants, uh, unlike my co-creators, fellas. Um, so hi everyone, welcome back to a fully clothed episode of Citizen Kane Versus. Mm. Uh, I am your usual person who talks first, Jack Rennie, and I'm joined by my two friends, a one. Person who talks second, Sean Jacklin. Person not wearing underwear, Daniel Benoit. Nice. Ooh, it's free balling. Save Oops. it for the podcast. So, um, and yeah, we are Citizen Kane versus. If you're not familiar with us uh, by now, I mean, like, come on, everyone's already heard. I'm guessing this is like years in the future, and we've become popular. So I'm <clears throat> speaking to you as though you you're somehow not up to date. Speaking from your mansion in the Florida Keys. No, don't move to the Florida no, Keys. No, 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 they're no, not no. going to be around much. No, longer. somewhere, somewhere well above sea level. <laughs> yeah, like the Rockies. You yeah, have maybe, a mansion in the Rockies. Maybe the Rockies. And not a mansion. That's too... People would see it. I want like a bunker in the right. Rockies. Okay. Like a cave. <laughs> like a cave. I'll take a cave in the Rockies. Cool. Uh, but we are a podcast where we compare a movie that is considered to be more of a classic against one that is more on the schlocky side. And we ask ourselves, honestly, which is better and if you like this podcast at all please do give us a you know a, a follow on a whatever and and a, a like on the this and a comment there and a, and a review mm. what's the best one they can do uh i think in terms of reviews i think it's the uh, the apple one the itunes and yeah if you just want to like uh, have a good time join join me on twitter oh yeah join sean on twitter yeah at citizen kane vs, VS. yeah so that'd be awesome. Um, and even if you don't like us, you can do that too, just out of spite or something. Um, so a spiteful follow. A spiteful follow. Yeah. Just just so like when Sean writes something, you can just you can just comment like not funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> why were you born? Yeah. Why? <laughs> and Sean, Sean will get back to you. Like I I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean I don't know. Yeah. Daniel, why do you know why were you were we born? Yeah, why were we born? Like, well, see, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ yeah. has a grand Never vision for all of us. Really? Oh. Yeah. I need to introduce you to the greatest piece of literature ever written. Oh, what's oh. it called? It's called the Quran. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's essentially it in a nutshell. So um, <clears throat> the movies this week uh, were uh, well. I'm actually, I'm again quite happy with these movies. Yeah. Uh, it, the theme this this week is movies based on board games, <laughs> which is such a sad and small genre. Yeah. Um, and it's it's small because they historically have not done well. Uh, the movies are, are the classic being Clue, which has only grown to be a cult classic now. Um, but which is weird because it's so good. Uh, well, nah. we'll, we'll talk about that. Okay, I, think, yeah, I think there's I stuff about so. that. I, I agree. There's lots of really good stuff in it. Uh, and the 
uh, more modern schlock being Battleship, mm-hmm. um, the the vehicle for Rihanna. And apparently that's the first board game inspired movie versus the most recent board game inspired movie. Correct. Fun fact right away. Oh, sorry. As we give Did a f- I steal that? No, no, no. Okay. You're just you're just breaking through. Nice. Yeah. Into the into the fun facts. Um that yeah, Clue was was up somehow like how had no one had jumped on this idea sooner? The first board game movie. Yeah, I'm trying to think what other like like Candyland. Mm-hmm. There's got to be a Candyland movie by now, right? Like, I don't know, maybe. Yeah. Starring... Y- Yu-Gi-Oh. Josh Gad as <laughs> the Bon Bon. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's probably been talked about somewhere. Yeah, it's in the works somewhere for sure. If there's an emoji movie, there's a Candyland movie somewhere in the world. Yeah. Yeah. But Clue, Clue kind of makes sense because Clue has like a narrative to it. Mm-hmm. Like Clue is a, is like a yeah a kind of a narrative based game it's based on a premise of of events occurring who done it between who characters it? yeah it's a who done it which is already a genre that exists mm-hmm. so it it kind of it makes sense to me uh battleship is not battleship is a almost two and a half hour advertisement for the u.s navy it is wildly long which is not even <laughs> mm-hmm. a fun fact it's a very unfun fact um both these movies bombed though is the thing so it's funny so uh clue had a budget of 15 million so okay. a tenth of the 150 million that battleship had yeah uh but gross only three million yeah that's a that's a that's, that's a, a bomber that's where, a splash where did 15 million dollars go they're in one location the entire time. And probably the, the shoot couldn't have lasted that long. Expensive location. I guess a long. lot of yeah. expensive actors. Expensive, probably. Expensive Expen- actors. Yeah, those are some of the best actors of the, the comedic actors of the day. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they were like, mm. they were trying to get other people. Like I was just talking about before we jumped on about how um, uh, Princess Leia. Carrie Fisher. Carrie Fisher was supposed to be Mrs. Scarlet. Um, there were a number like Tim Curry. Although it's amazing because he's quite he's quite wonderful, but you hear some of the other options, and you go, "Oh, these people would have been good too." That uh, John Cleese was an option. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Which would have been also great. I could see him doing that. So was Rowan Atkinson. Yeah, yeah, I read that, but he he wasn't well known enough yet. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Funny. He, he was because he, he was just Black Adder or something that he. Had yeah, done. he'd just been doing and uh, not not the nine o'clock news. I think he did oh, like a news right. parody show in Britain, but in, in the United States, no one would have known who he was yet because it was pre mr bean yeah. mr bean right that's yeah. okay i was wondering who that was uh yeah, the yeah. the narcoleptic in rat race if yeah. You oh, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 i know it's a race it's a race um uh so those are those are fun i guess budgetary facts if you find that kind of stuff fun but mm-hmm. they they both flopped they both were flopperoonies uh, well see i just looked at the battleship numbers and like it they invested a ton but Worldwide, it grossed over three hundred million, oh. and it only the budget ended up being two hundred and three million. So not really. So it made a hundred million. It made made the producers very very rich. What did it do domestically? Uh not very well. Right. Yeah. Probably huge in like China. or I something. I would imagine so. Yeah. I know it opened in Tokyo. So yeah, okay. because there's the Japanese component of it. Yeah. How could it? I guess yeah. Those are the two markets for it. Because mm-hmm. how could it, I was like, how could it be popular anywhere but the United States? Because it's such a big old yeah. um, turd. But I you, mean, <laughs> and like wank fest. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I remember Battleship being one of the very few movies I've ever seen where even from the trailer, you can tell it's going to be hot garbage. Like oh, trailers, yeah. like most trailers are good enough that you're like, that, that could maybe be good. But Battleship, you watch it and you're like, no, no. Rut row. Rut row. Exactly. Rut-row. So, yeah. Um, the last fun fact that I'll share, though. Because I think it is quite fun. This is also a very unique thing um, uh, about Clue is that it was it was a part of like the gimmick of the movie. So what we just watched the ending, uh, it plays the three endings all in a row, and you mm-hmm. can it goes and it's kind of fun. And a little card comes up and says, or maybe it happened like this, yeah. or maybe, but it actually happened like this, and it shows another ending, and it's quite fun. There was supposed to be a fourth one apparently, but <laughs> that didn't happen. Um, but originally. The movie was, they each had a different ending and they were uh, released to different like venues with different endings. 
So, oh, cool. So if you went to the movie, you didn't see what we just saw. You only saw one of those endings. You saw ending A, B, or C. So you would go, hmm. and if you went to different cinemas, people would see different... It would end differently. That's pretty cool. So then what the what they released for like home video is yeah. what we just saw? Yeah. And that's when its popularity actually took off more. It was when people were like, oh, the multiple endings is yeah. a fun way to like to end a movie singularly as we watch yeah because then you can retroactively go back and be like oh i see how that fits for all of them oh cool yeah yeah. if it does which i'm not yeah i'm I'm pretty convinced that like it it doesn't actually make a lot of sense when you go back and and track it because they claim that like three different people were missing from one room and it's like oh so it wasn't (laughs) so like in that shot they're probably all there anyway yeah but um but they said it was, you know, a fun gimmick, but not one that paid off. Like, no one ever tried to do it since. And it, like, you know, it wasn't a good... People don't want that. They want a movie that <laughs> finishes right. the way that... It... I want to see the same movie that the people in New York see. <laughs> yes, yeah, that might have been an argument, yeah. Uh. So this is Sean's alter ego. Uh, Sean. Cl- cl- Clermit. Cl- Clermit? <laughs> um, Clermit. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so those are some fun facts. Um, but you're probably wondering at this point, oh, what are these movies? Can you tell me more? And do we ever have a a uh, fighting boxing match themed intro for these movies for you? Check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Citizen Kane Versus is proud to bring to you tonight's main event, a five round battle for board game supremacy. Introducing first in the red corner, a group of anonymous dinner guests, each with their own spicy secret, who all find themselves as suspects in one of the most convoluted murder mysteries in the history of cinema. Coming in at 94 minutes, starring Tim Curry, Clue! And in the blue corner, a shameless piece of American military propaganda, where the U.S. Navy fights aliens. Coming in at 111 minutes, starring Rihanna and John Carter, Battleship! And there we go. Uh, So now you know what we know. So let's jump in. (laughs) Let's jump into our first round, which is round one. You ready then? I think so. Okay, good. Round one. Story good? Nice. Yeah. Ding, ding. Oh, ding. Super that'll, good. That'll play okay. well. Stick that out so we can see that timer oh, there. Okay. So um, right away, I'll, I'll reiterate what I just said. I think it's kind of, it's unique at least and cool that Clue uh, has this multiple ending thing. Mm-hmm. It's unique. I haven't yeah. seen it. And when they are put all together and not as some sort of gimmick, it's kind of fun. Yeah. And it is like, oh, you're making this specific to your board game, sort of. I, uh, I directed a short film in film school a few years ago and we also had alternate endings Hmm. um but the whole idea was like this black female doctor was being accosted and attacked by this old white racist i didn't write it and uh and (laughs) clearly (laughs) as he's about to i think stab her he has a stroke and her being a doctor she has to decide does she save the racist who hates her yeah it was a horrible script anyways (laughs) um and and the Wait, is this the movie Crash? Is that what Crash is about? That's like half of the movie Crash. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Um, anyways, the writing instructor insisted that we keep the three alternate endings that the, that the, the student had written for the movie. Okay. Um, and it just so it's just like the guy falls and then this woman has like three flashes of possibilities of what she's going to do. Does she save him? Uh, does she let him die? Or... There's a third one. She gets ice cream. Like it's she gets ice cream. <laughs> uh, a rabid dog attacks yeah. both of them. <laughs> Anyways, long story short, it was a spectacular failure. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's so. There's a reason why people don't attempt it. Is what I'm saying. Right. Hmm. Funnily enough, that movie played in a uh, a black film festival in Montreal, uh-huh. which I went to and had to speak on a panel. I remember at. you doing that. Yeah. You oh that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was the only white director in the entire room. And uh, the very first question that the panel received was like, how do you, why do you feel like it's your um, place to tell these stories on screen? Because I went to school. <laughs> I was like, I didn't, I didn't write it. I, didn't, <laughs> I swear to God, I didn't write it. The writer was black, I promise. <laughs> oh, the writer wasn't there? 
the writer was there, but I directed it, so I had to. Oh, you had to be like, <clears throat> I had to like defend my decision Whoa. to direct this movie. The teacher said I had to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like I didn't. I'm, I'm not on a payroll. I, I didn't know yeah. this would come to this festival. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just wanted an A. <laughs> um, so, so, uh, so again, it doesn't work very well. No, no, it does not. Although it works decently well here. Works pretty well. The middle story is didn't make any sense. The Mrs. Peacock well, one. Well, the middle one was the like, one that felt the most rushed and just like a yeah, filler. Yeah. yeah. It's just like a... Which if I saw that in theaters, I'd be like... I'd be pissed, yeah. I'd be yeah, pissed. Yeah. What was her motive for killing everyone? I actually don't even know. I can't remember. They didn't really uh, go I think, into great I think detail. it was just that, that she was connected to it, that she was she was making money. She was... The, right, the bribes and stuff, the blackmail. She was connected to it, like she was a, okay. I th- yeah, see, like I think it's, it's all overshadowed by the brilliance of the final one, and just yeah. like the absurdity <laughs> of some of the reactions to what's going oh on. Oh my god! <laughs> but you weren't. Oh, of course. Oh, of course. <laughs> I hate her. <laughs> okay, but I want to talk about that final ending because. Tim Curry says that the who they originally thought was Mr. Body is in fact Tim Curry's butler. butler? Yeah, yeah, and he's Mr. Body. And he's Mr. Body. Yeah. So then how do we explain everything that the original Mr. Body does at the beginning of the movie? That he's been told to put on that performance. Put on the performance. Yeah. To stage a freak out, yeah. give people these gifts. And then and then pre- and then turn off the uh, when the lights go out. Pretend, so to, be pretend to be dead. Right. Yeah. So th- then even the moments like, like even Mister Mister Body's freakout could be real. Yeah. The whole it's all a hoax. Yeah. Ah, right. Because he was literally he was honestly trying to escape. He was trying to get away, and Tim Curry is like, "You can't leave." Yeah, you're the dogs. Here. And then you can imagine there was a little conversation off off camera there where he was like, you're going to finish this through. Mm-hmm. And that's what you're going to do. Right. And I guess they uh, brought the Rottweilers in just for the day. Yeah. To guard the house. Yeah, I guess so. Because his friend owns the house, right? Is that still part of the... Was the that the owner? idea his friend or was that or was Mr. Uh, Body in fact the owner, the owner of that of house? house? I don't know. That went over my head. Yeah. I feel like this is one of those movies where if you go back and really dissect it. Yeah. And, and it's more about the ride. Yeah. And that's kind of, I think, my point of it where I go, it's like, it's really fun, but it is kind of also not good. But you know, what really holds up to scrutiny, I would say, is Battleship's plot. Oh, I mean, absolutely. I think it's very clear. Another future cult classic. Yeah. <laughs> it's very Pro- clear. Probably, actually. Let's be Once real. that comes out on VHS, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Laserdisc, baby. It's the future. <laughs> Uh, but sorry, go on, Sean. No, I'm just saying it's uh, it's inscrutable. There's there is no fault from start to finish. Everything makes sense uh, from a scientific point of view, from a logical point of view. Just everything really falls into place perfectly. You well, know? I support the troops. I support the troops. I, th- I support the troops. I support the troops. Do you support the troops, Daniel? How much do you kneel? I, I support the troops. Yeah, Good. Yeah, I he's... kneel while I support the troops. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I kneel. I, I don't kneel while I support... What do you want me to do, You sir? don't kneel? <laughs> um, Everything is disrespectful to me. So, okay, so Battleship. So, I, I can buy aliens responding to a transmission. I was being facetious. No, I know, okay. I know, but I, I, I want to get into it. Yeah, so, yeah. I can buy aliens, yeah. a, a, aggressive aliens, realizing that we are an inferior race and wanting to come and conquer us. But did they... Did they ever go into greater detail about why the aliens chose to come to us and invade? No. Okay. And that was kind of annoying, and they never got into their sort of interesting thing of how the aliens didn't want to attack things that didn't seem to be threatening them. Like, they weren't... Yeah. That was a really, really highlighted thing that they would show from their perspective of, like, the red versus green, like, this thing is being antagonistic towards us or not. So what were they doing? I interpreted, because when he had the the little flashback, or flash into the universe. The mind melt. The mind melt. yeah. uh, It showed, like, a burning world, right? So I figured, I I just interpreted that, like, this was a species that goes to planets, takes all the resources, and leaves it like a burning, ruined husk. Yeah. But then if they are, if they are invaders and pillagers, Mm -hmm. why would they... Like, have yeah. this mechanism where where they only attack things that are attacking them. Because the heroes need to escape the deadly situations. Oh, yes, right, of course. Yeah. Right. Oh, right, 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 right. right, right. right. Yeah. Okay. Logic. So, yeah, logic. Logic. They're like, it we makes can't... sense. 
the aliens were like, glug, glug, glug. wait, there's like glug, more movie left. Yeah. Glug, glug, glug. Okay. Glug, glug. Oh, Clermont's back. <laughs> yeah. um, I will give props to Battleship. So, so where Clue, it kind of makes sense. Like I said, it has a bit more of a narrative. It's like a, a bit of a narrative board game. A kind of big props to taking the game Battleship like to the writer whose desk that was put on yeah. bless you yeah mm. that they were like hey make this a movie and this person saw it and was like all right <laughs> and somehow made it way too long <laughs> I, I i like to picture this person being like okay battleship i don't know what that is google battleship no one's used a battleship in a hundred years fuck okay how do I- aliens <laughs> aliens <laughs> <laughs> but like it's 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 daunting it's like if someone came to me and was like hey write a movie about connect four i'd be like fucking how but then yeah you know i'd find out that adam sandler had done it already or something connect four that hmm it's got to be a film it's got to be in pre-production it's gotta some squid game-esque yeah. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. yeah now, now it's good, eh? And the line oh. is removed. Oh. <laughs> and the other Connect Four pieces oh, fall. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Tetherball, the movie. Tetherball. <laughs> Foursquare. Aliens have come and they have tetherball shaped bodies, and only the high school tetherball team. <laughs> can... <laughs> the national championship tetherball there's team. There's aliens whose like brain and head thing is like <laughs> hanging off of a weird rope from a central core body, and these yeah. this team of tetherball. If we can get a team in to staple them to the ground so they can't move anywhere, we can smack their brains around. There'd be some like weird premise, yeah, that like this <laughs> magnets or something. Yeah. <laughs> That's essentially what Battleship turns that's essentially, into. Yeah. Yeah. That's essentially what this fucking movie is. So they shoot the dome that covers Hawaii and everything to create the game grid. It should be a right. cube. but like It should be a cube. Yeah, fuck you for making it a dome and not a cube yeah. if you're going to make this Battleship. Mm-hmm. And they shoot pegs. Yeah, fuck you again for making it pegs. I, I kind of respect the peg thing. I think it's I kind of respect. I mean, it, it, it kind of had to be pegs. It's hilarious. It, it has to be pegs. Explosive and the, pegs. Explosive pegs. I mean, how, how else do you go about that? It's a pretty clever way to to include the pegs. It's a, it's a completely That's a point for idiotic technology for an interstellar species to utilize. Still, yeah, that their that their their projectiles are like this high lobbed, flippy, <laughs> fucking <laughs> massive barrage. Which in space go? <laughs> yeah, would never work in space. It's totally fucking stupid. <laughs> so if it was one missile that they shot and it was one big peg, yeah. I'd be like, whatever. <laughs> but the multiple peg thing, and um, then the Beyblades, the Beyblades that come out of the of the alien ships. Yeah. <laughs> But but are created but are specifically? They, are they yo-yos? I I think they're Beyblades. They must have been. They share, they share the chain. Oh, but they don't battle like... each other, I guess. Mm. Mm. Like they were shaped like yo-yos. But they don't like come yeah. back to the ship. A yo-yo would be like it's true. So it's sent it's, out and then returned. They're yo-yo shaped Beyblades. Yeah, That's exactly. my issue with them. Yeah. They're yo-blades. But why would they use anything but those? Because they were like hyper intelligent. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah, they did and way it, more It looks damage. like they were specially made for each mission. They were like created Crafted. in the ship as they were being ejected. Yeah. Right? So they have special special built purpose. Beyblades. Beyblades. Which, which is how Beyblades work. Yeah. As we all know. I actually have no idea what Beyblade is. I know it's a cartoon. I don't know anything about the cartoon. It, no, it's a, also a, like a spinning it's, top yeah. battle game. Yeah, you you have a you have your rip cord and you have your 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 Beyblade and you, you put let, them in the battle dome on a bowl uh, and you say and, let her rip and you let her rip. So okay, but you can so, customize them to have like different shit on them. Yeah. So in the show, yeah, do the Beyblades come to life or turn no into idea. any other kind of like like in Yu Gi Oh? Yeah, monsters come out of them. Monsters come out of them. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. right. But oh, you can yeah. buy an actual toy where you can just yeah. throw tops at each other. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah. You spin them into a bowl and, and yeah, and whichever one stops first loses it's like decently fun is it i mean i didn't do it but as a kid my grandparents had tops and i used to i used to tops, i used yeah. to snap them both down into a bowl and they would hit each other and i found that fun for yeah. a second i thought you were gonna say as a kid your grandparents played beyblade yes that's well that's how they made their money they are the creators of beyblade mr and mrs that'd be pretty great actually that'd be, oh yeah of course Come i'd be like very well Beyblade royalty Beybl- i got that beyblade money yeah there you go um <laughs> you know so that's different, though. That's a franchise that was made for both. You know, it's a game yeah. made to be a show and whatever. The right. Pokemon. 
this is just a kind of lame tabletop board game turned into a multi-million dollar and and how they shoehorn in the fucking <laughs> grid and the dots and the whole oh, the yeah. buoys which are perfectly gridded out i'm i'm admirable uh-huh. and loathing of of that how I, they did that i admire it a bit just because it's a bit more commitment to the board game thing than clue had yeah yeah, Clue. Clue no, yeah. no, Clue's whole premise is figuring out who killed the person in the thing. Clue recreated uh, the like the rooms from the board very, very well. The, the oh, whole interesting. Kitchen, I, didn't, I didn't think about that. Like every room looks exactly like the top-down view of the the Clue board does. It's, it's all have, outfitted yeah. like that. Wow. Oh, yeah. I wonder if they just happened to find a house that looked similar enough and then just did little touch-ups or I, they I just bet you that's where a sets. lot of the 15 million like part of the 15 million went to is to like set design yeah probably. creating that house yeah, they, for sure, they, they probably just built it that, it's easier just to build that it. kitchen yeah. is a dream kitchen it's it's massive and like that that's an expensive kitchen to make yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so um, that that i mean that but i would yeah i wonder how many, how many people would catch that you did I played Clue a lot as a kid, so it's kind of burned in my mind. But of I don't know. Of course, you played Clue a lot as a kid. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was busy playing Battleship and fucking Connect Four. Big lead. <laughs> I was. What was I doing as a kid? I don't know. Playing in alone. Church. Playing res- in church and playing wrestling video games alone in my room. In mm. church. In church. In your room in church. In like, my room. Like, I mean, like everywhere is a church. Jesus when you're themed a wrestling Christian games. Boy. Yeah. Yeah. And not watching Dragon Ball Z. Um, I used to watch Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Like six inches from my TV with my hand on the power button wow. just in case someone walked in. Yeah. So you only ever saw like one little square of every episode of. Uh, no, my of... face wasn't smashed up against the TV. I can okay. still see the whole fucking screen. Small TV. Okay, mm-hmm. I get it. I was poor. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> you love God. Because I love God. I had no money. Um, I'll say of Clue, uh, the, uh, the writing is pretty fun. I know a lot of it was also improvised. There was a lot mm-hmm. of improvising in this movie. Um, and some of it is pretty outstanding, uh, <laughs> which maybe we'll get to a bit more later. But like, um, so that's really fun. Um, I yeah, I I I don't know. I have a feeling if we went like we talked about, if we went back and watched it, that it wouldn't make sense fully. That like people would yeah, we'd have uh, to look at who's in the rooms at what time. We'd have to have a spreadsheet. I mean, I was watching pretty close, trying to see who they're wasn't all there. there. They're right? all they're... there all the time. I yeah. know. But like you said, it's about the ride, right? It like it's not a movie that's supposed yeah. to be taken seriously as a hard drama. It's a fucking fun little board but game. But I think film. that would make it fucking good if it was that also way. like a uh, an outstanding yeah. whodunit. Right. Yeah. But it's not. It's where they do the reveal and you go. Wait a second. Okay. What? I don't know. You go like um. All right. You Pretty know? sure I saw you in the back of the crowd there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I like that it's I like that it's kind of over the top, of course, and like fucking J. Edgar Hoover calls and whatever, whatever. Yeah, it's it really like the tone is clear. The I found the tone really wishy washy for the first about half an hour. Correct. Sorry, that's, mm. more, that's so more it really locks it locks itself in for the final act of the film. Yes, that's for sure. Yes. But like I was. Some of the comedy is bad in in at, at points. Some of it is incredible because you're you're yeah. gonna hit. It just didn't seem like a film that was directed very well. It's like the horniest movie ever. It's so yeah, horny. I was like, so say. the beginning is all just people staring at tits and grabbing ass, yeah. yeah, and being not gay and all this kind of stuff. Oh, very not gay. Mm, decidedly not gay. <laughs> and. Why'd Damn. you both look at me when you said that? Oh. We're just waiting I'm not for you. gay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So Let me suck your dick. And you're and you're right, and then it does <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> yeah, that's gonna go in that's gonna be a clip. That's yeah. um Daniel that's, propositions the boys. That's in the intro now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my parents don't listen to this. You are you're, you're right though. It it they know. They yeah. got, they gotta learn sometime if they haven't learned already. <laughs> but um you're right though it does kind of it does hone in it kind of lets that stuff go eventually yeah and it just becomes a whodunit but it starts really fucking it does start weird Re- really weird the pacing's odd the slapstick and like yuck yuck farce comedy is timed poorly i think it's partly it's john landis and an american director directing what is like kind of like a British sex farce in a way. Yes, correct. So it's like a very like sterile American portrayal of uh, yuck yuck sex farce. Yeah, mm. yeah. Whereas Battleship, clean all the way through. No, it's you have. I mean, there are so many. I just I can't roll my eyes enough at this movie. There isn't any good writing. 
Oh, I wonder if I wrote down. There were some choice lines, weren't there? But no, 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 like, no overwhelming good writing. Uh, like I can think of already. Like I love Clue. Like, can you can you keep a secret? Yes. So can I. And that's the end of the exchange <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> I was like, that's great. <laughs> but um, just like minus a million points for sure, at least for having the extended uh, army veterans show up on the boat sequence to pilot the old battleship. I just... Well, why, why are they already in position on the boat when they get there? Because time is of the essence in the plot. So... The Right. So yeah. so is it supposed to be that they they knew that duty was calling? They had the navy sense. You know, when you're in the navy, you're always in the navy. That's a song that I wish they had played. In, <laughs> instead of instead of uh, was it ACDC? Yeah. Instead yeah. of ACDC, it was just in the navy yeah, by the Village people. Yeah, Honestly. as as all the geriatric old men wander uh, you need some help sonny <laughs> <laughs> what you staring at get on that dial maybe, maybe. <laughs> then they all decide to lift the w- two-ton the one uh, torpedo or whatever to the other end of the ship yeah on the still loaded fucking battleship for whatever reason oh joy which has to be a breach of some sort of international code ah probably not i don't know but like it had definitely been like it's a museum so it had been docked there for decades yeah, but I mean, because you'd have to, like, I'm just saying, because you'd, they'd probably pretend that it wasn't a functioning yeah. military vessel. For anymore, sure, yeah. Is what I'm saying. It's yeah. probably not cool. Yeah. But if you're like, that, pff, that's a museum. <laughs> but it has ammunition on it and can, and can still work. Someday we'll need this ancient battleship. Well, they did to fight off the aliens. That's true. And is there anything more American than lying about an armed vessel? <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Um, I can think of the, the army veteran with. Uh, no legs beating up an alien. Yep. And right. choking him out. And with, what's, uh, that leg leg for? what's that a metaphor for? Yeah. Right? Xenophobia. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's no saying. They, like, it's a metaphor for something no one really knew what it was. They were just like, this will test well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like they wanted that B plot to really work. You know what I mean? They, they like, needed actors. This, this quirky scientist guy. Ugh. And he, 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 He's like Fine. he's close to acting for sure. Yeah. For sure he's close to acting. Yeah. She can look concerned. She's hot though. So e- yeah. yeah. So that's fine. And and the and the vet is clearly just a real vet, bless his soul. We're talking yeah. about acting now. What I think that scene what I think that whole plot really needed was like a really graphic sex scene Ooh, between the vet. This is a great way to end. And 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 the podcast? No, just Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no further thoughts <laughs> discussion over <laughs> oh goodness uh well great thanks so much um we are not done but we're gonna take a quick little ad break catch you in like a very short amount of time so just let it let it happen Bye. <laughs> um hi i'm talking hi we're back <laughs> nailed it <laughs> yeah hey <laughs> hey you uh hey so uh welcome back let's jump in right away to our second round which is I always I I always make this sentence really long just to give you time to get your phone ready. Which I, I much is, appreciate it. Which is round two, Produzione. Bueno, Dios mío. Yeah. Are we sticking with that now? Is that because I did that last time too? I it, liked it. I it like feels it right right now. It does kind of feel. right. I'll just let it? it go when it doesn't feel right anymore. Okay. You know. Yeah. yeah but good. I like saying Produzione. Mm. You know, in case yeah. you have any. I feel like we're gonna get some hate mail from the Mexicans. Yeah. Are they a proud prote- protective people? Pro- probably, probably. Yeah. Like parts of them, probably. Like you know, they have a very rich culture mm-hmm. that's been bastardized by we just Americans. Annihilated them in soccer. So yeah, it's true. Yeah, Canada did. Yeah, yeah. We're leading the North American uh, qualifiers right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't wait for us to fuck that up. We didn't. No, I don't one. think we can. Really? Yeah, I think no, 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 we're, we're like, going to yeah, the World, World Cup. Cup. Pretty sure. Really? Yeah. yeah. Is it the first time in 200 years, or what is it? Since like 1984, I want to say. Whoa! Yeah. Yeah. Go Canada. There's some talent there. Mm-hmm. Should that be the new anthem instead of Oh Canada? Should be Go, go Canada. Canada. Yeah. Sure. Go. Actually, what, I, I would find that more fun. <laughs> yeah, like, me too. We started around, haven't we? I, I'm down for a new anthem. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Thankfully, I I accidentally paused the oh, round, so we're actually God. still making good time. All right. We? Okay. Good. Great. So, uh, production. This is where we talk about you know music and lights and uh, shots and 
and shit and, yeah. and produ- how the producers did mm-hmm. how the producers did and the producers did well on both these movies they funded board game movies yeah. they did congratulations yeah, they did. Yeah. but they had board game money they did you know so I wonder how much money you can really get from the the creators or the, the backers of Clue Hasbro's Hasbro's got, got, well, Hasbro's got money I'm not that, sure is Hasbro to, it, Clue Hasbro's also like Transformers is yeah, yeah and Hasbro's Ooh. got money did, it, did Hasbro do Clue no uh, I don't think so no, Hasbro's no. Battleship yeah I forget who. Oh, Clue. Yeah, I forget who owns Clue. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if there's real lots of Clue money. Yeah, but like not nothing. It's a popular board game. They yeah, probably sold millions of millions of co- copies. What do you call it? Really leaning into that, that Mexican <laughs> angle. Eh? That's your interpretation. Million the million. <laughs> that, that, no, that. <laughs> That's a line too far. I apologize on behalf of Citrus Game versus. Um, no comment. So, I mean, we already kind of talked about the the set design of Clue. Yes. Which, spot on. Yes. Yeah. Pretty spot on. It's true. It does yep. feel like a Clue house. Yep. It a does. million percent. And, it the, does. and the costumes are pretty fun. Mm-hmm. Yep. If not... Uh, Super booby. If not, so like, booby. wildly boobalicious. Yep. Uh, apparently, she helped uh, Colleen Camp. Yep. Uh, Yvette. Yvette. She partly... That role was rather contested. Apparently, like, Madonna and other people were in the running. Because, you know, which would have been yeah. weird. Young Madonna. Uh, she Madonna, showed up. Young Madonna. She did the old thing, of which I just hate a little bit, that she rented a, a, a French-made thing and auditioned in it. A little Halloween costume, like the one they have her in for this? Yeah. yeah. Why do you hate that? Uh, I, I hate that people who cast movies are morons. Yeah. That you can just show up in something that looks like what maybe they're thinking of doing, and they'll be like, "Hey, that's like that thought that looked like the movie." <laughs> and that if someone who's like a really good actor comes in, and but they're like, "Well, but the lead has brown hair," so no. <laughs> and I just, I just hate them for that. Yeah. I know that's still super common. Yeah. And the fact that it's still a thing, like dress in a suit if you're auditioning to be a thing. It's like it just makes it makes casting people sound dumb. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like they just don't, they can't, they can't Imagine. see it. Yeah. <laughs> they like lack imagination. So I guess I'm criticizing them for that. Mm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Film mm-hmm. middlemen. We can, we can do without. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah. We can do it without most positions in film, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Thesis and director is the, right Dan? No, we, we, we need the assistant directors. <laughs> we need the coordinators. Right. Yeah. We can do away with basically everyone else. Sure. We need a director. Yep. That director needs an assistant. And, like, maybe a guy to hold the camera or something. And, like, why do we got craft services? We got Uber Eats. You know? What are we doing? It's my favorite part of a film set, actually, is craft. The fact that there's, like, a table with cereal on it? No, there's, like, there's a food truck normally. Yeah. Yeah. Just unlimited food. Making Sammy's. All the bubbly I can drink. Oh. Fucking dope. Yeah. Gross. Um, Yep. Battleship. Battleship had battleships. Well, it had a battleship. Battleship looks fantastic. It does. Battleship is a very, very sleek, sexy sports car of a movie. Uh, I think I think that's true. All of it all looks great. If I'm like the CGI is is pretty outstanding. If I'm being real, yeah. I mean, some of it is. Some of it's pretty trash. What, what, what year sure was it made? 2012. 2012. 20, I guess for 2012 was pretty good. Yeah. I mean, anything they shot, anything that was like in actual space was. Nah, I thought the design of the aliens was pretty weak. Oh, I didn't mind them. I did. They were too Uh, humanoid for me. Yeah, no, they they were they were really lazy. But the the, like battle armor was pretty cool. The battle armor was cool. Yeah, I like that. And (laughs) but they they just looked like like alien humans, different humans. Yeah, Yeah. like different humans. Yeah, Yeah. which I guess like I guess I can see the argument for on each hand. They had two thumbs. More evolved. So maybe they're more evolved, and they come from a planet that is similar to ours. So. I guess they're trying to say they're just like the next step yeah. in evolution. They're just that much more advanced than humans are. That's like that's like having a species of uh, an alien species of fish that has more gills and being like they've evolved past our fish. I mean, they don't say that. <laughs> we I've been saying that. We've that's definitely saying. what they were going for. But for sure that's what they were going for. Well, yes. we have thumbs and that makes us special. I th- you know what? <laughs> you know what's the line too far? I'm down if you want to do the 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 space uh, evolution theory, which is that like evolution would occur in similar ways under sure. similar circumstances. Um, I'm like fine that like a bipedal thing that can stand on its two legs and then grab stuff with its upper legs like us is going to do well. Fine, whatever, right? Uh, and that's like the nature of evolution. 
I think it bothered me that their teeth were the same. They also right. had like two rows of clean, flat teeth. Yeah. And I was mm. like, no, that's for whatever reason, that's the line too <laughs> far done. for me. <laughs> that they had, I think also that they had pupils. The same yeah, but they have, they have worse uh, eyesight in light. They're like lizards on earth. They're like lizards. They're like a gecko. Yeah. He had a photo of his gecko on his phone for proof. God damn it. That means that the writer just had a gecko. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. Or like that's or lived in in like California. I was or, like gecko. Or like yeah, s- that's in the movie. Some writers keep little like files of fun like facts that they can like throw into a movie to make mm-hmm. them seem smart. And that definitely seems like he was like, I need something alien like well, geckos. Okay, I I bet it was the inspiration for the entire movie. Right? Just yeah, the <laughs> just the eyeballs, and then the entire thing was not, built not, around not that. Battleship, the board game. No. Okay. No, okay. No. They worked from there. They were from there in the battleship. Well, and they were like, oh, I made a battleship movie. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> He's like, wait, <laughs> I started on Gecko Eye and ended up on a Hasbro's battleship. Oh, the rights are going to be, oh. <laughs> Man, I got to stop smoking meth. <laughs> or I got to keep smoking. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'm going to go with keep. Yeah. But. Uh, we also joked too that it was like an excuse because I think we were it was right before it happened too we were like watching the movie like oh so which war of the worlds is it so is it our air that kills them or is it the water like in signs and this was like no it's sunlight <laughs> we were like right that's another thing that is really yeah. how the fuck do you avoid that yep well at night nocturnal hunters Except they didn't do anything like special at night. They just were like active at night, I guess. No. In fact, they said like they had they at night they were fighting them, and that's when the whole s- battleship sequence happened oh, yeah. because they couldn't see them. Yeah. Yeah. That's so they, when do they, they see? They, they couldn't see. The humans couldn't see the aliens. Or the aliens couldn't see Both. the humans. Wait, they we, said we, that. Yeah. No. Yeah. They were like they were like um, uh, we can't see them or whatever. And it's like well can they see us? It's like, I don't think so. Why do you think that? Well, because we're still alive. Right. But that was and because that's what began the title battleship. Sequence. No, but that was because they don't, they don't acknowledge you. If you don't pose an immediate threat, that wasn't because they don't see at night. They justified it in the human side that it was because they couldn't see them. Yeah. yeah. I think no, we gotta go no. to the tape. <laughs> Cut to I, the no. cute tape. <laughs> Now I have to find a fucking sound bite <laughs> yeah, for the movie, yeah, yeah, sons just, of bitches. Just put it in in the ad break. Um, no, but I think I think that was because they they couldn't, they just couldn't detect them. Not they couldn't see them. Um, maybe. And we couldn't see them because they were cloaked in some way, right? I think it was just nighttime. No, because when they were flying through space, you, they had like a reflective shield. Yeah. So they were uh, they were cloaked. Yeah. yeah. Well, not clear. Very unclear. A very unclear. unclear movie. Yeah. I will agree with that. Uh, Design the music was by Steve Jablonski. He also did the Transformers music. Uh, that's oh, all I can say about ye. Steve Jablonski. What a name. Yeah. And Michael Bay directed this one, right? Nope. Okay. Peter Berg. But essentially, Peter Berg doing his best Michael Bay. Yes. Yeah. Ab- yeah. So, a Yeah. And his best Bay Blade. Huh? Oh, dear. Michael Bay Blade. Gonna, uh, uh, speaking of, of uh, other design stuff, costumes, Rihanna always wore a hat. We yeah, talked about all that. Even that was water. what defined yeah. her character. She yeah. was the hat girl. And, I mean, maybe we'll talk about this in acting more. I just don't understand why she was there. Well, because... It was the, just a stunt casting. She didn't even have like a part in the movie. I yeah. think they were they were trying to give her a vehicle to get into movies. And they were like, you can be in this weird propaganda film uh, about a board game appar- and she was like oh, yeah apparently yeah. peter berg the director saw her on snl and was like oh she can act and they were looking for a vehicle to put her in and it wasn't like a huge role and it was believable that rihanna could could be in the navy so they they put her in a movie, a movie that cost $150 million. And that's $150, and they didn't have to pay for all the military stuff. That's true. That is correct. Right. But, I mean, that money went to probably Liam Neeson. 
Yeah, and for the four scenes he was in. For the four scenes he was in, yeah. and like all the CGI. Lots of CGI. Lots. Lots of CGI. Yeah, that's the whole the thing. That shit is expensive. Yeah, you got to fix that whole thing with CGI because that movie otherwise has a bunch of like almost non actors. So they're yeah. not paying for actors. Well, they have John John Carter, Taylor Her- Hitch, Taylor Kitch, 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 Taylor Kitch, the Kitch, the Kitch. Brooklyn Decker. Wiener in the Kitch. Wiener in the Kitch. It's Brooklyn one Decker. One of the Scars Guards. One of the finer Scars Guards. Alexander Scars Guards. Scars Guard. Scars Guard. Who uh, criminally underused. Oh, yeah. But they could only afford him for 45 minutes of yeah. the film. He's like, I die here. Yeah. They're like, you do? And he's like, I die. Yeah. Sorry, my agent says I got to die here. Uh, yeah. 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 I'll be in my death trailer. <laughs> which is the trailer I have once I die in a movie. Yeah. Um, uh, again, I think I mentioned like. Um, Whereas, like, Clue, the costumes are very fun. Like, I do... Like, visually, it's very satisfying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Um, it was an interesting mix. Like, with the music, like, it would have quirky music come on sometimes. And then otherwise, other times, it would be quite silent music. Yeah, music, it's, that, it? it's that... It's uh, that... The farce thing. The, the, yeah, a lot of farce music. But it's also that weird point in the 80s where there was a lot of synth integration into the music, but all the synths were trying to replicate string or like percussion instruments. Yeah. And it just sounds incredibly dated now to our, to our ears. So I, the final yeah. countdown kind of, strings. yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Jump, 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 jump. Yeah. Um, it, it was fine. It was fine. I thought those, uh, <clears throat> those weapon props looked like weapons, like weapons. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like the tiny little miniatures you get in the Clue game. Almost identical. Mm-hmm. Oh, I get it now. I see what they were doing. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Did that just click for you? No. <laughs> I know. No. No. Yes. What, were they... Okay, so they were eating monkey brains, but they were really just eating... Uh, soup. Well, they had soup. Yeah, it was a second meat. Then second they brought meat. in a plate of whipped cream. Yes. That was supposed to be, be monkey, monkey brains, brains. I, which we find out later was monkey brains. Right. But I was, why That's in they, every ending why, for whatever reason. Why are they just eating whipped cream? Yeah. Have you ever seen monkey brains? You I have know not. I know like... it's a delicacy of the of, of Cantonese China, but uh, or whatever his he says. His line is. Yeah. But it's very it's difficult pre- to acquire in Washington, D.C. Yeah. 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 Yes. I, I didn't understand how that was an argument for peacock being yeah that's not evidence is it because she the the cook was chinese she was she was asian i don't know where she was from in the movie well i'm trying to think is that supposed to be the implication that like they were connected because she was chinese and monkey brains is chinese and china is a is a communist country understood kind of Oh right, the whole communist thing too. Yeah, there was a, there like yeah, you're in Reagan's America, right? So right, yeah, the, it's the most like uh, antagonistic time since since 1954 for relations between yeah. Russia. Or but it's like communism. Hollywood's. It's like the Hollywood writer's opinion about it that the line that never ending is communism is a red herring. It's a red herring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which it was. Which but, it was. So <laughs> I kind of appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Two of my friends were socialists. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! I do wish. I think. I think the if it were more clue like in that, like I think this movie would have been fun if the characters were splitting up into different rooms earlier in the movie, like like just curious arriving there and having drinks and seeing them chat in the different rooms and mm. stuff like that, or something like that. Much like in Clue, you go to different rooms and you explore and you. Yeah, find dinner things. happens really quickly. The whipped cream happens really quickly. Yeah. And then they all run on as a group, which I think is a mistake. Like, I think they actually... The movie clicks in when they separate. Because mm-hmm. then it actually feels more like Clue. And if they find a way to make that happen... Um, I, will, I, I will say uh, I was in, very disappointed by Colonel Mustard's design. Because Colonel Mustard, to me, is a big, like... English safari guy. He, like yeah. I think on the board game, yeah. he's got the like safari yeah. hat, right? He'd be like, oh, <laughs> yeah, my lad. He's, he needs come to be, here. He needs to be chomping on a cigar or a pipe constantly, and he needs to needs to be like shooting wild game for some reason. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. Colonel Mustard. Just me. walk in with like a lion's head. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do do fucked up shit like that. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. Not work for the for the Pentagon on the secret fission bomb. Yeah, it's very like the more we talk about it, the more it is just a, like obviously all art is a product of its time, but this is very much a like made in nineteen eighty five movie. Yes, yeah. Bubbly break. 
Bubbly break. Damn, damn. Thanks. <laughs> Piece of thanks, shit. thanks for just saying that, not like contributing yeah. content. <laughs> yeah, bubbly break for Daniel. Here he comes, drinking his bubbly. No, we both had a drink, and Dan, instead of talking, instead of fucking looks at us and says, "Bubbly break." You bubbly break. Fucking shitty podcaster. Now you have to tell me your favorite part of Battleship. Yeah, what was your favorite part of Battleship, favorite production part. wise? Production wise. Bubbly. No, let me think about that for a second. Oh, good. My favorite, my favorite part. Favorite part. My favorite part. Yeah. Of Battleship. Of Battleship. Production wise. Mm -hmm. Would be. We're way. I know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. This is an important. Yeah. Um, probably the CGI on the war vet's legs. <laughs> All right. Elaborate. They gave him fake, fake legs. <laughs> Did they? Did no, they? No. <laughs> <laughs> so you lied to us. I lied to you. We gave you this opportunity to be truthful. And I squandered it. And you squandered I it. I squandered it. <sighs> time out. Time out for Daniel. Yeah, time out. Bubbly break. Bubbly, Bubbly break. break. We're calling I'm sorry. out I didn't really have a, two of three. I didn't really have a favorite production moment in, in <laughs> Battleship. I thought it was <laughs> all kind of washed. I thought... I. I, I the the one that I remember, I mean, I told you guys I was falling asleep yeah, with my like eyes open during this movie. Day. Yeah, yeah. Um, I thought I thought the ACDC fucking montage <laughs> was like a fun choice. <laughs> yep. Um, I thought the Beyblade stuff was actually pretty cool. Yep. But that's that's kind of where it ends. I, I I was more or less disappointed with everything in this movie. I thought uh, I thought the moment where the kitsch and the guy who should have been the lead of the movie once his brother died, the Japanese captain. Mm. Uh, when mm. when the plan involved them just just mounting up with fucking heavy snipers up on a cliffside to blow out the windshield of the alien spaceship to blind them, I was like, I mean, that's pretty hardcore. Yeah. Because in this movie, it's kind of that freedom where it's like, it doesn't have to adhere to much. They just have to beat them somehow. Right. And I was like, cool, make that your plan, whatever. It was pretty, 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 I was like, yeah. Yeah. You know, it worked. Okay. I haven't seen Pearl Harbor in a long time. I'm fairly certain uh, what Michael Bay portrays as the Japanese are sneak attacking the base is the planes come in and they fly over a baseball game that like the army is playing uh, or something. And you and you see the planes go over the, the baseball pitch that they're playing and they're like, Ur! and in Battleship... As the alien craft are like crashing into Hawaii and flying over, they go to the like kids baseball game and watch as they all like fly overhead. And uh -huh. at first, I was just like, "Oh, they're showing the Amer America's ba uh, pastime baseball to show that this is an attack on America." But I think they might be like referencing the actual attack on Pearl Harbor. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> yeah. It did seem like they wanted to stra straddle this Pearl Harbor thing. Was this movie released on an anniversary or something? Was it some unification? Between it was supposed to be released in 2011, which would have been the 60th anniversary of of uh, of Pearl Harbor, of the attack. Yeah. So it, maybe. It seemed to be this like joint thing between Japan and America. Like, uh... <laughs> Japan not quite saying I'm sorry, but funding our movie. Yeah. Yeah. Did, not... did Japan fund... Uh, Battleship? Well, I assume there was probably some cross promotion between right. yeah. them and right. some isn't, Japanese. Isn't Hasbro, Hasbro a Japanese company? Probably. I don't know. Oh, I don't oh, know. No, I'm that. thinking of um, uh, Nintendo. Saban. Yeah. 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 Never even... Saban is the original uh, creator of Power Rangers. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah. And I think Hasbro now owns a lot of the stuff that. I think Hasbro bought oh, so Saban. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would track. So that they are actually, it probably is a Hasbro thing where they're bringing in their, their various like Western and Eastern Markets. financial bases to yeah. cover costs and stuff. Mm. But even just yeah. the image of them all like playing baseball together, I was like, is this some weird, again, what's the message here that they're playing? Japanese and American troops are playing baseball together in Hawaii. Like, I can only look at this like some sort of Pearl Harbor thing. Also, fuck them for having that whole soccer game. It was soccer. It was, it was soccer, soccer, yeah. Right. At that, the beginning. This movie yeah. was too long. It was a production thing. It was very long. Yeah. It's way too fucking long. Well, the soccer like, game was our introduction to new and improved Taylor Kitsch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Time time was funky in this movie, huh? Time was fucking crazy yes. in this movie. Yes, yes. Time, it, like, it was skipped years, but we didn't know how many, and then, like, skipped, skipped time again He or got something. her a burrito. And so now they're thinking about marriage. Time keeps on ticking. 
into the future. <laughs> huh? Uh, huh? Yeah, you're, you're off the podcast. Sean. Hey. Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't do this without you. Um, so that's the end of that round. Approximately talking about production, kind of. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Which is the way it should be. Because we don't, we don't really know. One was splody, the other was not splody, but some pretty. Powers. Had some yeah. Powers. yeah, yeah. Uh, both had objectified women. So, oh yeah. One surprisingly less so in the more recent American one. Like, yeah. Surprisingly so. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Although the one that was exploited was like very exploited. Yes. Within like thirty seconds of meeting Christopher Lloyd, he's touching women inappropriately. Yeah. Yeah, right away. I noticed that when he's like fully has his arm like he's like holding on to her as she's mm-hmm. as he's ushering her out of the rain. And I was like, okay, maybe that's just that's very handsy though by today's standards. And then like right away grabs her ass. And yeah. I was like, yeah. Okay. I mean, it was the fifties in right. the movie, and she and did yeah. have exposed shoulders. She did have exposed shoulders, so she and she good. showed her leg to get a ride, which is international uh, sign language for fuck please, me, please take me. Yeah. yeah. Going on to our yep. third round, which is acting good. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> We're on fire today. You got to keep it spicy. I got to keep you two on your toes. Uh, you know, I got to throw different energies your way. I don't want us falling into a rut. You know, what's going to happen next? They don't no know. Ruts. I don't want them to be like, oh, this is my bedtime podcast. This is your wake up workout podcast. This is what you Ooh, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> No worst workout ever. I think what? I've tried to listen to like listen us? back to episodes of us working out. I've done that a bunch. It, have you really? Yeah. Do you get through the whole thing? Yeah. Really? Mm, sure. I mean, like, what do you mean? Do I get through the whole thing? Do you get to, do you, do you get through the whole podcast? How does it affect your workout? It's fine. Is it cries fine? a little, but right. That's yeah. normal though. Yeah. Right. Just during the warm up, little warm up <laughs> cry. Oh, yeah, that's part of. Oh my god, I can't go into like a child's pose without <laughs> a good thorough crying cry. and farting. You know, I breathe, I breathe down, and it comes right out the back, and the tears start flowing. <laughs> that's right, Dan knows. Acting. Uh, so um, acting. So acting. One movie has acting. Indeed, they they both. I, <sighs> there there is more there is more acting in Battleship than I expected. For sure. I will say that. And there's more bad acting <laughs> in Clue than I thought there'd be, too. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Bo- both are true. Yep. Battleship, I expected to just be hot trash start to finish. But even Rihanna's, like, Rihanna's character is, like, the fucking... It's pretty easy untough. to play. Butch yeah. girl with the hat. Come on! Yep. And... But, like, you know, I can... I can <laughs> with a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Always has a hat. That's that archetype. Yeah. You know, the one that wears a hat. Yeah, I know it. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I mean? Like even she I buy I I'm picking up what she's throwing yeah, down. I, I buy bought, it. I bought pretty much everyone except Taylor Kitsch. Except the Kitsch? Yeah. Yeah. The, oh, he's well bad. well he can't Liam, carry Liam Neeson is is putting out his like Liam he's Neeson phoning is phoning in his accent. In, but yeah. I will watch a phoned in Liam Neeson performance pretty much any day of the week. As we learned from Clash of the Titans. Clash of the Titans. Oh, so good. <laughs> Has he? So like, he's good. just phoned things in since, like, Phantom... He even phoned in yeah, Phantom Yeah, I, I was going to say, no, say, have you seen Phantom Menace? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he basically death stopped scene. it. Since, like, he, Rob Roy, he's yeah. been phoning in. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Liam Neeson is, is more or less a hack. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say it here. Uh, it's the official opinion of the podcast. Uh, Liam Neeson, you could come tell us otherwise, but you wouldn't be able to tell us in any I guess convincing extras. way. extras. The episode of extras where he is pretending to phone it in is yeah. him not phoning it in. Yeah, that's right. his most convincing yeah. performance uh, in this decade. <laughs> if it was even this decade. No. Um, but yeah, the kitsch, the kitsch is rough. The kitsch is crap. He's garbage. I, don't don't give me a look and rate. That's a... No, That no, is a no, soundbite if right I there. ever heard Dan, one. you take a bubbly break. The, ki- <laughs> okay. the kitsch is crap. Dan, oh, get out of here. Get with the... He, he was better with... <laughs> I want him to have his long hair. Because he's kind of, you know, that was his thing. His, his Obi Wan hair or yeah. his, his Qui Gon hair? Uh, no, I'm the catch. Hair. Oh, the catch. Yeah, the catch. That uh, I haven't seen John Carter. So even in Gambit, though, but he starts with long or hair. Gambit. Uh, he, has he has long hair, long hair at the, hair be- yeah, the has... beginning of the movie. He has long oh, hair. Oh yeah, that's true. When he's when he's, he's hillbilly his, trash. Yeah, he's yeah. got his like surfer hillbilly look. <laughs> yep. And I'm like fun, and then he goes for like the clean, and I'm like, oh, you, you now you're just like truly generic. 
bland man. Why did Brooklyn Decker's character walk into that bar? Was there a reason? Is that that's the that's the, the blonde? Yeah. She wanted a yeah. chicken burrito. Sure, but, but from that, like, was she stranded, and that's the only food her doctor will allow her to eat? Or well, it's it's you know <laughs> she the, fucking it's, loves those chicken. It's burritos. after hours. Yeah, it's probably the only place in town that might have food. Even the convenience store is closed. Yeah, that's although it wasn't. It wasn't when she got there. So she could have easily, and they were right by the door. He saw them. I'm just saying, she made poor life choices, and then he wins her. Yeah. 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 After the police tase him repeatedly. Yeah, twice. Yeah. Which is like, whatever. <laughs> just like the cops, yeah. Yeah. We'll just do that. But, uh, y- yeah, she's, uh, yeah, this movie, I know what you mean. Like, the, again, the, the army vet. What wasn't terrible. Well. The, the, the guy with the no legs. Mm. Oh, no, he was. He was real bad. That's that's non acting at its finest. Like, I, it's not even like an attempt at bad acting. He was just truly not acting. I think for a non actor with no legs, he did a fine job. <laughs> yeah, yes. Well, and and probably a serious case of PTSD. I think he probably was doing all he could to just hold it together on set. Yeah. And I think that he, I would call that a success. Okay. Uh I I uh <laughs> There goes all our support from the war vet community. <laughs> I no, because I was gonna say I I I believe that war vets can can do better performances than that. Is all I guess my the weird opinion that I'm being forced into here. <laughs> um, it doesn't change the fact that the acting wasn't good. He was bad. He was very bad. He was very bad. He his lines he he would have like a kind of blank nothingness on his face, and just be like, "You better get back here right now, or you're gonna get a piece of my fist." But it's because. It's because the 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 men and women of our military. It's not ours. And by our military, I mean the American military. Oh, yeah. I hope if they could just help us out though, anytime. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're contractually obligated yeah. to. They, they, they are. They are <laughs> he would. He would not help us. <laughs> but yes, sorry. They are. They are trained to be emotionless. I think it was actually a a master class in character study. <laughs> shut the fuck up just shut the fuck up <laughs> bubbly break bubbly break i enjoyed the uh it's not really acting but it, we didn't mention it in the story uh the shameless propaganda showing the u.s uh military uh the institution taking care of its veterans in a state-of-the-art oh, a rehab yeah. facility fuck oh, yeah. me yeah. yeah eat shit eat Re- shit each one of them has like their own person working with them and they're you know yeah. not homeless yeah they're the ones that haven't hurt themselves because of the mistreatment by the u.s government yeah <laughs> the yeah the, i mean the propaganda of this movie is is off the chain mm. off the shizze um yeah. let's talk about the improvising yeah. and clue because i didn't know that yeah. it was mainly improvised it's not no. mainly improvised but well, i didn't know that it, i didn't know there was lots lot of, of improv yeah. in there yeah. um that makes me that gives me a, a whole new respect for for this the, movie the yeah the, and the actors in particular mrs white's uh reaction to the, 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 the just one. brilliant yeah that was all improv yeah. just brilliant and you, just I, so you out of her, left field yes. i hated i hated her i just i i i uh, Hey, fl- flame, flames uh, out of my face. Yeah, just fucking brilliant. Yeah. Um, I mean, who who did you guys think wasn't was bad? In this I thought film? they all had moments of being like row. Yeah, and then they would save it by were, doing. Were they were else. they character moments or acting moments? Because I think those it was editing different. moments largely for me, to be honest. Okay, yeah, I could see that being the case. There was a I lot thought of the guy editing. the guy who played Mister Body was oh terrible. He, yeah, yeah yes. he was awful. Yes, he he stood out like a sore thumb. And Yvette was not great. Yvette was like yeah, well that's but she's you. written to be boobs. And yes, right. correct. Yeah. Um, I thought Christopher Lloyd was. Yeah, that's, I know it's a it's a garbage character, but mm. it's not a nothing character. I just don't. I just think he just didn't. I don't know. Yeah, there was no energy. Is nineteen fifty four the year that they go back to and Back to the Future? E, I think so. So maybe Doc Brown killed all the people. Oh. You know. You know. Are you saying that Doc Brown is actually a former psychiatrist who? raped his patients no i'm saying that's probably like doc brown's like father and mm. they're gonna cross paths i don't know i would have loved that can yeah. you imagine if they just snuck doc brown in this movie somehow he's yeah. one of the people that shows up <laughs> like a million door. ways to die in the west or doc brown oh yeah. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it's pretty funny yeah uh i forgot about that uh that's on this podcast we've watched way too many movies yeah at this point over a hundred 
No. Oh, yeah. We we're, we're decently past. Do you do recognize Mrs. White? No. Uh, 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 I do, but I was having a hard time where. So please tell me. Uh, the Teutonic Titwillow uh, von Stupp from uh, Blazing Saddles. The the German like song and dance woman. That's her. Are you serious? Yeah. Madeline Kahn. Whoa. She's phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, yeah, and she was pretty phenomenal. Yep. Um, I liked her a lot. I liked I liked uh, Mrs. Scarlet and Mrs. Peacock was kind of an up and down performance. Yes. but that was kind of but that worked for her. Sa- saved by her final yeah. final ending. <laughs> but so her so her character was annoying. But there were moments where you could see that she is a really talented yes. actor. Oh, of yeah. course, yeah. yeah, they all were right. But I think not. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Like some improvised stuff, or is her just like reacting to bumping into something, and you'd be like, "Oh, this whatever." Right. That, that could have been cut, but they needed to make up. Yeah, time. that's the, a lot of the like slapstick stuff didn't didn't sell because they just I don't know they're not those kinds of performers, I guess. Yeah, it was weird. Also, slapstick that doesn't work anymore most of the time. Yeah, if it's not like the a, ironing board was funny. The ironing board, Martin Mull opening mm. the door with the ironing board falling on, got a huge gut laugh from me. Oh yeah, that was yeah. good. That was yeah. funny. Uh, Martin Mull, uh, as much as I dislike their interpretation of Colonel Mustard, mm-hmm. I think Martin Mull did did a yeah, good. Yeah, good. I mean, Tim Curry is oh, fantastic. Steals steals the movie. Obviously. I think we got a we were dancing around the Tim Curry in the room. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Tim Curry was fantastic, and he picks up that movie that, that like has a weird beginning and like starts to kind of come together, and then he goes great, mine now, and yeah. then he in what is just fantastic. It's 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 more entertaining than the movie we just watched in many ways is watching him reenact. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The whole movie? <laughs> yeah, cuz that started and I was like, "No, they're not just going to redo the whole movie. This is such lazy writing." But then Tim Curry's doing it. Yeah. He's given like four pages of dialogue. Yeah. yeah. And half of which he's saying at breakneck speed. Yeah. And and you can hear every single word cuz he's a brilliant technical actor and is just like this this movie was filled with my favorite kind of actor which sometimes they don't hit the right tone or they don't really do the job fully effectively but they do it super interestingly mm-hmm. and i'm cool with that yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i dig that i do that as well mm-hmm. and tim curry is definitely like kind of champion of that yes mm-hmm. that um i would i would never say he misses the mark i think he's the most consistent actor in this movie like mm-hmm. i think he really holds it together and i think he's part of the cult following he does a, he's a thing for cult followings yeah he's just a really interesting he, person yeah. right? yeah rocky horror and whatnot mm-hmm. what's that movie where he plays the devil oh yeah the one with like tom cruise and stuff oh it was a ridley scott movie what's it called oh, i don't know you know what i'm talking about i do know what you're talking about it wasn't about. willow but it was a movie no. like willow yeah it was a willow-esque but movie. way more uh, fantastical scott? it is with tom cruise right that's the it one it is with tom cruise yeah yeah, yeah. and there's um, like unicorns and shit in it yeah 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 I have a, no idea. Really what you oh, yeah, we, should, we should do it on the podcast. Yeah, yeah I, I'll, I'll find out what the name of it is. It's okay. it's fucking wild, man. I'll, I'll, I'll Tim do Curry it. Week. Yeah. Oh, I would do a Tim Curry Week. Yeah. Do but like then we Rocky have to do Horror. Rocky Horror. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Against maybe this thing. That movie confused me sexually <laughs> yeah. as a kid. I think it, that's it's called that's, le, it's called Legend. That's why it has a Legend. 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 Yeah. I've never heard of that. You've never heard of it? No. I've, oh, I've dude. Only it's heard and, and the legend push, of Bagger Vance? No, it's just called oh, Legend. Okay. And they put Tim Curry in the most excessive prosthetic makeup. <laughs> Great. He just pay, plays this gigantic devil character with these yeah. like huge fucking horns. Yeah. It's it's really something. <laughs> but um, have, you, have have you seen him as Count Richelieu in yeah. Disney's Three Musketeers? I have not. Yeah. That is what, so not Three Musketeers, Three Stooges. That is what this movie reminded me a lot of with all sure. the slapstick yeah, stuff. Yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. The American slapstick kind of. Well, especially the very first eye poke from uh, from the not Baldwin. Right, the one oh, that yeah. was not I think, and executed caused the, well. And yeah. caused the guy's nose to be bleeding. Yeah. Well, because then he, he fell to the ground and he kicked him and like punched him on the ground. Oh. And then he got back up and was like, Meow. Yeah. I didn't like that the that the secret passages weren't more flushed out, fleshed out and interesting separate yep. note just whatever you wanted them to <clears throat> have a life of their own a little bit i i don't know i just yep. did you want more detail in in the tunnels or what did you want you wanted more of a backstory as to like when they were built and 
I would what have, their original purpose was. I would have liked them to have been more scenes in other rooms and people moving around and finding tunnels. So mm. we see that this building is intricate and is like the like you remember that board. I feel yeah. like that should have been more of a character. I guess is kind of what I'm trying to say. Well, if I recall, I the... don't know how it factored into the crime. It didn't on, make sense what they were trying to explain to us. On the board, it's just like a different colored square in the room that takes you to. So there there isn't actually the like secret passage you can get to. It's no, just know, like there's nothing, right? Yeah. Uh. But I think some I've played other games where there are it is connected and oh, yeah? or like it'll be like a it'll be like a stairwell icon. Right. But some of them are just like it's just linked, like you can just go through. Yeah. So you know what I mean? I just think um they could have done more with that. Mm-hmm. As much as they spent on that. Mm-hmm. Like they had a whole ballroom set that wasn't used. Anyway. Right. I just would have liked it. I think it would have helped out. Um, Michael McKean. Is Love it McKean or Michael Keen? McKean. McKean. That's the the uh, the the not the gay the not, not gay. The not the yeah. not gay. The, the not gay. The, yeah, the, the the character that I was like, oh no, what's this movie gonna do? Yeah. And 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 they didn't have too much of the like other men in the group making distance from him because they're right. they're afraid of the gay. They right. only had a couple moments. Just of that. like the one Christopher Lloyd moment. Yeah. And and when the two men wanted to go with a vet, and he was like, "I'll pass," and like pranced off or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Oh yes, 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 that's right. Yeah. <sighs> but he's great. He's always great. He, he was. Great. He was actually quite outstanding. I, I found a lot of his moments to be to be very good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to play a game. Okay. I want to play the who would who would fill these roles in 2021 of clue. Oh dear. Ooh. Casting clue. Now. Casting clue. Now. I mean, yeah. There, there are talks about doing a new clue. Oh, oh yeah. Really? Yeah. There, I think, um, I think Jack black is Colonel mustard. Oh, he um, would be too. Fuck. Yep. Yeah. Cause they would play it all for dumb shit like yep. that. I could see, um, I would vote for an Aubrey Plaza as, as who, as maybe Scarlet, Scarlet, or maybe the maybe a vet. No, I can see like is an it, Allison Brie as a vet. Maybe not a blonde. Is but. it a comedy or is it a whodunit? Is it a like true whodunit? I think comedy whodunit. I I think today it's probably a straight up whodunit. I think that that yeah, t- cinema today likes to sh- likes to shy away from the camp factor in these movies. I think it would just be a straight up like. Oh, so then not Jack Black. I don't know. Jack Black was in uh, fucking King Kong. He's, He's a in, serious he can actor. He's some serious dramatic <laughs> He's in acting. King Kong. <laughs> Shut up. Um, okay. Well, let, let's say it, let's say it's for the let's say it's a comedic whodunit. Okay. Will Ferrell, Mr. Plum. Would Will Ferrell now though? Yeah. Or no, he'd maybe be like, Colonel Mustard. Will Ferrell. Might, yeah. Maybe like a John C. Riley. John C. Riley. Colonel Mustard. That's where we're circling to. That's the money. That's the money. Yes, the John money. C. Riley. Yeah. I would. I would again salute so Aubrey Plaza. I think uh, Scarlet. She, I think. I think she has that energy. But I is think, she? But is she old enough to be a madam of a brothel? Yeah. No. I think she's more like. Oh, I wasn't connecting to that. I was just connecting to who would be good in a Clue movie. Right. And I think could, she'd be a good Mrs. White. Sure. Whatever. Yeah. Then one of them. Yeah. I would say. I still would vote for like an Allison Brie in in a vet in a vet's role. Hmm. Yeah. Allison Brie's different. Are you thinking? Are you thinking? Of, you're thinking of Community Allison Brie, aren't you? I guess, I guess not like I guess she's changed. Matronly Allison Brie. Not like glow yeah, Allison. Now, yeah. <laughs> and now she's like in the post with, yeah. with Tom Hanks. She's a serious actor. Right. That's uh, fair. She what is. about like what about yeah. like an, an Ed Helms as as one of them? Ed Helms could maybe do as the, plum. The, the, the as Plum. Yeah. yeah. That'd be good. Right? An yep. Ed Helms. Uh who would do the butler? Yeah, yeah that's a that's a that. tough casting right now. I don't know who who's that character. I think it would be right would it would be British? Well, no, it would have to be like Timothy Chalamet or like <laughs> Leslie Jones or something. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Actually, that's a solid um yeah, that's solid. Yeah. Also some of the like a I don't know if a Kate McKinnon fits in here. I think Kate McKinnon would be the uh, the, the um Peacock. Peacock or I was going to say Yvette. Might be oh, too small. Oh yeah, uh, maybe yeah. though. But then we're just doing SNL does clue. Just, yeah, it's true. <laughs> but I think those two would be one thing. I think um Leslie Jones as the butler would actually be very funny. Yeah. She doesn't have uh, I don't know if she I don't buy her as a like a serious actor though. I don't know if she can do that. She's always Le- Leslie Jones. Yeah. She's always at like ten thousand. And like and it's like always like comedy over, a bit over the top. Yeah, I don't yeah, know if yeah. she could have those mm-hmm. grounded moments. Like I don't think 
But she can maybe make it her own, you know. Yeah. What about like Oscar Isaac? <laughs> totally. Only if he has his Dune beard. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Love that mm, Dune beard. That Dune beard. I actually find I think like I would almost sport like a, a Dave Bautista as another. Ooh. As a something. I don't know what. As the as, butler. As, as 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 the maid. As Yvette. <laughs> <laughs> Yvette. Yes. <laughs> And it's the opposite. Like he has, like it's like cut down. It's like these big pecs. That's hilarious. <laughs> and like, and like, <laughs> people are looking at him. Like, yeah, he's, he's wearing like, these tight, tight little short shorts. Like, he like, has to, like short walk, shorts. The, the doorways are all quite narrow. He always has to like turn <laughs> sideways. To get That's through. hilarious. I mean, let's flip it. Let's flip this up. I mean, that is what they would do. They would yeah. find a way to make everything like gender atypical and oh, yeah. multicultural and yeah, it would be a true movie of the twenty twenties. What role does Jared Leto? Put get on fired weight from? or lose weight for. <laughs> get fired from. Uh, Jared Leto as the revolver. <laughs> Jared Leto would be the black cop that shows up. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, Battleship. Anything, any acty thing left from Battleship? I Skarsgård think is, is fine. He he is a Skarsgård for part of the movie. His American accent makes me laugh. Yeah, just like Neeson's. Where are they from? The uh, Skarsgårds? They're, they're Scandinavian. Scandinavian? Yeah, somewhere. I want to say... Norwegian or Danish? I, I want think, to say Danish. I think mm. maybe Danish. Yeah. Skarsgård's uh, right into the show. Uh, it might be Swedish. No, that kind Skar- of no. I think oh, I think Swedish. it's more Danish. Yeah. More Danish. Danish. Dern- Dern- How much time we got there, Sean? Yeah, ten seconds. Yeah, I got ten seconds. Trying yeah. to fill it with Dern. Dern- 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 Sean's always giving it away. When, when <laughs> just like the last few seconds, sit down and he starts going. Dip, 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 do. <laughs> like, yeah, good, that's good, Sean. Good filler. Um, so um, uh, send in send in your comments of who uh, who should be the actors in Clue now. And don't say don't say Dwayne the Rock Johnson and. Uh, uh, oh my God, Dwayne the Rock Johnson no. would absolutely be in that no, movie. No, no, fuck that. Absolutely he garbage. Would, though, for Shut sure, up. he would no, be. No, fuck you. no, no. I'm not seeing it. I'm you're, out. You're seeing it. I'm not I mean, seeing actually, it. The thing is, we Can't this movie exists. It's called Knives Out, and yeah. it is Clue now. Yeah. So we already got this. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, that pretty much is Clue. Yeah. Yes. That's Jamie true. Lee Curtis is be nice and Daniel Craig kicking ass. Oh man, uh, he was Darnold. kind of he was kind of shit in that movie. Right? I liked him. He's like, well, I'm a bear, but I, be bear, but, but. I like that he was told to just like be ridiculous. <laughs> well, I, I, there's something I haven't seen here that I think I ought to discover to you. <laughs> I need to watch that movie again. Yeah, we'll watch it. Not for the podcast, just for no. fun, just yep. for friends. Okay, we're taking an ad break. Bloop. Uh, hi, uh, we are back, uh, we are back. So, let's jump into, right away, right away, round four, which is a shorter round, but it is, rewatch ability. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It, that, that did it on its own, I didn't okay. do that on purpose. It was rewatchability, by the way. <laughs> I gave you too much time this time. You and then like, it stopped. Sorry, guys. You were right. like, come on. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're going. Um, this is actually a tough one. Is it? Really? In what world do you imagine you're going to watch? I had a really good time Battleship? watching Battleship. Did you, honestly? And this, do you like boats and shit? I, I do like boats and shit. And you love American propaganda. I, <laughs> I do love it. It's, you did oh, say num, the num, alien num, num, battle suits were cool. Yeah. yeah. No, the, I just think... There were you, clues all the way along. You did love the second opposable thumb. <sighs> yeah. This, this scratches... <laughs> Battleship scratches my you itch. You did love Taylor Kitsch. <laughs> <laughs> Gone, I'm leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> Slam! It's battleship. You scratch. do have a thing for war ants. <laughs> <laughs> Stab you to death with a lead pipe uh, in the library. Yep. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm not going to do anymore. I'm serious. You can go. Battleship scratches that itch for me of like bad movies with high production budget. It it scratches that itch that people have for Independence Day, which I loathe. Yeah, you loathe Independence Day? I hate it with okay. a fiery passion. But you like Battleship. But Battleship is what I get, I think, that same like feeling that people get when they watch Independence Day. Of just like fun explosions? Like, yeah, like, oh, this yeah. is garbage, but like my brain is turned off and I can see I'm that. entertained and it's comically bad. That's like me with Marvel movies. 
Yeah. I can rewatch them all day because they're brainless and they're just like yeah. flashing it, lights. It, it and like feels like a good sleep. Yeah. At the yeah. End. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, mm, I, I think I learned something. Nope, nope, no, nope. Like, no. I just, like, I just kind of rested, yeah. weirdly enough. Like I just, and that's, that's good for me. It went into stasis. Yeah. Whereas Clue, I agree with you that Clue gives you an experience that we talked about. Like it, it finds its stride. It just, it kind of just starts sprinting at the end. Yeah. Um, which would have been a better stride for it, but it, uh, it kind of makes, you're kind of watching it going, is that, uh, are we, and is that, should I be like watching for, yeah, the focus is off. Am I, mm. is this a clue? The movie's called clue. Was that a clue? Oh, I get it. Like the candlestick. Yeah. yeah. But it is legitimately hilarious at points legitimately very hilarious mm. yeah. i also think that it, it's a movie that cleverly has has a rewatch built into it because mm-hmm. you have yep. to go back and actually see if what their if their explanations make any sense you have to go back and track if people are in the rooms and you know if there's other stuff. time for it to work exactly yeah it almost demands a rewatch well that's that's and that's the thing that's getting me a bit mm-hmm. yeah yeah i agree with that too so see i'm split i'm torn both are for me. Both are yeah, almost equally rewatchable. Almost equal. This is how I feel. <laughs> what? You're torn. Ah, uh, musical comedy stylings of Jack Rennie. I, well, I, you know, I thought I'd, I thought I'd bring it around. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So it, it does have a rewatch kind of built into it. Um. Battleship does not. No. Battleship mm. like blows its load like three times and is like we are done here in my opinion <laughs> it goes for way too it leaves, long leaves the money on the table walks out the room it's done there are three separate big alien ships that get boomed only three by the way the aliens were like ah, yeah that's enough it's their recon force and they just like sit at ocean height yeah Instead of flying through the air like spaceships. Well, it's technically four ships because the like base turns into a ship. Right. And yeah. one just gets blown up because it hits a satellite like idiots. Yeah. So I guess yeah. there were five ships. They're really figuring things out still. Yeah. Over there. This intergalactic. Well, I've never seen satellites in space before. No. They didn't anticipate. They made it to space without the primitive satellites. humans. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They were like, well, we'll try this once, I guess. Oh, we did it. Okay. Huh. Yeah. All right. The people that came to Earth were actually people that, like, they were the first group to ever take off from their planet. <laughs> yeah. And they, they've just been destroying planets they, along they the way. They didn't have the technology you know? to get back. No. And so they got a signal, like, maybe that's home. And they got there and they were just there, like, what the fuck? See, and that's were... a more interesting movie to me is yeah. this, like, this scientific explorer group from a, an alien race who doesn't realize that they are destroying the planets they're going to, but they just have to keep going places. And, and they're trying mm. to get to that, to the satellite uplink, not to get reinforcements, yeah. but just because they're lost. And Could, they're and they're just like, yo, it's cool, we got satellites, we got to use these. Yeah. We need these really bad. As they really laid into in the movie, E.T. needs to phone home. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the movie was like, hey, you've seen E.T., right? We're yeah. going to be referencing that. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Yeah. Great. Great. Glad we glad we talked about that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's score some movies. All right, let's do it. Um, let's. I, I think it's. Good. Let's start with our watch, our watchability because we just talked about it sure. last. Um, so I think for me, m- mine is gonna be for Clue. Yeah, I'm going Clue because I would watch it again, and and Battleship, I would I would not. The the very definition of rewatchability. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah that's so that's kind of how I'm basing my vote. That's good. It's based off of uh, that. Mm-hmm. I think I'm gonna say Battleship. Mm-hmm. I, th- I that's my vote. Mm-hmm. Battle Battleship. Mm-hmm. Battleship. Mm-hmm. Battleship. Battleship. Battle. I also would have enjoyed that movie more too. I was like, oh, there's aliens Ooh, flying be- in. Quick to the battleship. To the battleship. Yeah. <laughs> to the beetle ships and their beetles. Ooh, it's Ooh. like Ringo and Just- Paul and. I just don't get. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, man. Actually, that'd be hilarious if it was that. But they Mechanoid were like, beetle yeah, they were like a, Vol- a Voltron esque thing where they would then link it's up. Like, it's like Pacific Rim, but with with the the yeah, Fab Four. But they can join into one Megazord. It's like a fucking robot chicken episode. This is, the, this is the thing I don't get though. When you have the power of CGI, why are you just like making battleships go boom when you could make 
giant a beetle Voltron bots. beetle bot. like I just I just don't get it I just don't get how those aren't most <laughs> movies being pitched because <laughs> I would love things that are more like Pacific Rim but you know it's like oh it's like Pacific Rim but uh, they're all based on the Beatles yeah yeah that that sounds pretty fucking stupid yeah it does and they fight like world hunger somehow <laughs> Like, World Hunger is actually a being. Okay, whatever. So, um, where should we go next? Do you want to reverse, or do you want to start fucking... Let's back? reverse. Let's, let's reverse. Let's reverse. So, acting. Hmm? A clue. hundred times. Whoa. Clue as well. yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, yeah I agree, <laughs> but... Whoa. Well, let's build some suspense into this. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, 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 Produzione. Ooh, a battleship. Yeah, I think it has to go to Battleship, eh? It's just a cleaner movie. The editing in Clue at points is real bad. Well, it's in it's a movie in the 80s shot on film. It's all practical. And but even Sure, even, but there are movies in the 80s shot on film that are edited well, too. Yeah, and even some, right. of, I was gonna say, even some of the shots <laughs> are even kind of like, this is enough. Yeah. Like, this is fine. Yeah. You know? And, I mean, Battleship has, has flying explosive, explosive pegs. They do. Yeah. yeah, the pegging in that People movie alone. Get, I would have loved so if pegging? one just like ended up in someone's ass. Just, <laughs> just, oh no! Just, and you and you watch someone's... the realization <laughs> <laughs> just as he explodes on screen. Oh, that one's a dud. And, <laughs> that was, he's just stuck with an and, alien and, and peg he, in his ass for his whole life. He comes in like <laughs> bent over. <laughs> like I, I think you'll want to see this. And the captains are all gathered around. <laughs> <laughs> My but, God. But they can all see it because the peg is like the size of his body. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Liam Neeson says something about a special set of skills. Yeah. It takes him into another room. This, this peg reminds me of my child. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I think it's Battleship. I agree. Yeah. Even okay. just for them, them Beyblades. Shit. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. You know? I agree. You know? I agree. You know? I agree. Okay. You know? Uh, story. This one I don't have a I don't have a thing yet. Mm. I don't have a. Th- this is tough. It is tough because Clue is more like a fun movie made out of a premise, and Battleship not- is like a decent movie. I will say yeah. it is not. It's not total shit. No, it I is, was able to watch it and go. Yeah, the boom stuff goes boom, and I'm not really having. It's the template of a good movie. Yeah, they they did at least read a book about things you should have in a movie. Yeah. And they were like, it's not great, but we'll have a minute at We least. need the mentor figure dying at the end of Act 1. We need the... but the en- He's lost, and he finds you to call it. Like, they, yeah. they do that basics, though. But the entire, the entire story is aliens come and are bad. Sure, but would you have guessed that was the movie if I said in 2012, you want to go see Battleship? Would you have been like, I'm going to go see an alien sci-fi thriller? No, but is it? But does that make it a good story just because it's not what you expect it to be? Uh, it gives it points towards that, I would say. Really? Yeah. I, I think, don't know, man. If, if it had done anything unique or original with the alien invasion plot, I would have given it some points, but it doesn't. There, it doesn't. It, it's it just doesn't. aliens they shoot and pegs. Pegs. They shoot pe- they, they shoot pegs. pegs. Okay, that is true. They do they shoot peg pegs, and the they have two ships. thumbs. Yeah. They have two thumbs, and they have oh, like hard. they that's have hard. sort of like spike beards. They do. They do. Yeah. And perfect teeth. And per- they like look like beautiful. Fortnite aliens. They do actually look like the. Fortnite. <laughs> they do. They do. They yeah. look a lot. They like look them. almost exactly like. Yeah. That. Yeah. Interesting. Ooh, um, I don't know if that's a point four or against. No, it's no. It's it's, uh, it's like probably like one point four and against. Yeah. yeah. Um, I I think I think part of the thing that's actually like I'm I'm tipping a bit to Battleship in this weird way, mm. even though. Like, I know that there was some decent writing, like, lines, but I know a lot of it was improvised, so it's hard to give the yeah. points for, like, writing to Clue, because I think they they took a premise that was decent and did that actually, like, ha- rather haphazard. Yeah, it's loose. Mm. It's loose when I... And, like, the, the, the multiple ending thing is a fun gimmick. I, I'm still left not feeling fully satisfied with the ending. Yeah. Which is unfortunate. I think that's not to do with the ending. I think it could have worked, but the middle and like the beginning, it's just like, it's just not super well, clean. Whereas I want to give credit again that someone took the idea of Battleship, but a movie mm-hmm. and made a whole fucking thing about it. It's yeah. all propaganda, but. Yeah, it is. It is hot trash propaganda. Hot fucking trash. Propaganda. Hot trash. I'm going to say Battleship. 
Um, I'm gonna go Clue. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Um. Uh, I. Yeah, I, I, I think, uh, much love to Clue, but to the the story was too whack in too many places. At least Battleship was clean. Battleship. Yeah. I know. It hurts my soul. It that hurts does, me. That is a little bit. What what's the score right now? Tied. Two two. Two two. With the deciding factor being your my wild card question. question. Okay. Yeah. I like that we've done this wild card. It makes it feel like we're not really judges of anything. Yeah. Right. I mean, Which we, we aren't. aren't. <laughs> we're not. Exactly. And it's a nice you reminder no for everyone involved. Yeah. Um, All right. So what's, so, our, what's our wild card category ooh. this time, Sean? So aliens are invading. Okay. Oh They're on God. their way. Okay. <laughs> okay. The the alarm <laughs> whoop, 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 are sounding. Of you're course. you're with the Mr. President or or Madam President, whatever you or, know. Or you know. What year is President it? President Hillary Rodham Clinton. Um, oh uh, God. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, Cyber Hillary Rod- Rodham Clinton. Imagine so what year is it? It's 2011. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> Uh, okay, so aliens are coming. Aliens, okay, come. aliens are coming. Uh, and uh, you are uh, brought into the operations room, and they say, behind this door, we have two options for uh, a weapon that will destroy the aliens as they come in, either through uh, beauty or through, you know, disgusting horribleness. Which do you choose? And they open it up, and it's two Blu-ray, a uh, Blu-ray of Battleship and a Blu-ray of Clue. Uh, what do you transmit to get the aliens to either stop their attack or destroy them. Uh, okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. So does the thing that... Wait, sorry, Sean. Transmit the movie, but, blow up aliens. So which movie blow do we think is... Blow up aliens? Yeah, yeah. Wait, so With a movie? No, you're saying which movie do you think will thwart aliens, essentially? Yeah. yeah. But you're giving us options of how it would yeah, thwart Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm giving... I'm, I'm, I'm letting you explain it. But essentially, the, the core question is which movie would thwart the alien invasion? Yeah, aliens bad, stop them. Which one has the best option? Yeah. I think that's an unfair question yeah. because the answer is undeniably Battleship. Because then it shows humans it shows killing humans aliens. beating aliens. Uh, but is that not just an antagonist? I'm, I'm just pushing. Is it that is the, does that not antagonize them more? I don't know. Do you want to show them the lighter side of humanity? But all that does is make us look weak. Does it? And they wouldn't understand human comedy. I think you're very uh, alienist because maybe they have a funny bone. I am. Bone. They're maybe invading they our planet. Bone. I'm maybe alienist. They- Maybe they have a funny bone. And I don't... I, I, I'm, I'm okay with it. I would send I, Clue. I am alienist. I would send Clue. Explain. Because I want them to laugh. And, and they laugh. wouldn't... The humor wouldn't translate. La- you don't know that. I do know that. You don't know that. Do we that. find Chinese shit funny in its original language? <laughs> wow. Pro- I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But they translate. They're more advanced than we are. So they translate. Yes. Okay. So, so they get direct- to watch it essentially as we would watch it. Yeah. But humor doesn't translate in yeah, technology. Humor is not the same as language. No. You know, next you. week I'm just going to rip your question to shit. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. I'm just I'm just pointing out that yours yours has a bit of a built-in bias to you to alien agree. warfare. Yeah. Yeah. I'm 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 thinking it through. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, trying, Sean. I I'm, still love you. Yeah, 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 yeah no, that's fine. I'm, I'm Fuck trying you, to, I'm trying to think about <laughs> I'm I'm thinking about the option. Uh, and they have these two, the Blu-rays, and which one are we going to transmit out there? Yeah. Uh, um, to, to thwart, to thwart it. I mean, there's an argument that Clue is more random, so they might just be like, what? I can scratch this question, too. I had a backup. What's your backup? What's the backup? You're serving a dinner party. Okay. Okay. Which is <laughs> and you're like and one person dies. <laughs> one person dies. Like, Sean, this you can't be the plot of one of the movies. That's the issue we're having right now. The police show up, <laughs> and you need to distract them for a while. Which movie do you show them? You need to distract them for a while at the dinner party while you clean up the murders. Oh, is that the- <laughs> That's a tougher one, I guess. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> uh, be, that is tougher because the police would probably enjoy military propaganda. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and uh, and the but beginning Clue, of Clue might not catch them. Mm-hmm. Clue's know? pretty funny, though. Describe the police officer to me. <laughs> <laughs> He's about six foot two. It's a man. Um, 
Uh, well, they, are they they, partners? they prefer to not. Uh, they're they're gender non specific. Yeah, okay. clue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> as soon as you get to that point, that's for sure. If if it's a if it if the cop is a is a dude who likes having a gun, yeah, battleship. Okay. And if they are non-binary, well, they have a gun. They have a gun. Are they non-binary? Yeah. Clue. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm with that. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. I'm sticking with my answer to my original question. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Clue swept that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great. With a score of three to two, I think yep. the uh, Citizen Kane of the week is... Yes, I did it. I killed Yvette. I hated her so much... It, it, the, it flame, flames, flames on the side of my face, breathing, breath, heaving breaths. Kluble boop, global clap. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's Clue. Uh, so congratulations, Clue. Uh, you did it um, somehow, um, despite, uh, despite the wildest of wild card rounds. It was truly wild. We had multiple cards. We it did. was that wild. Yeah. Well, just because you shat on the first card. It just can't be the we premise of the movie we watched. That's. It's not. It, but it is. <laughs> They're coming. This is aliens are invading. What is your first line of the stati- defense? It, it is. It is the. It, it is the inciting incident of the film. It is not the. Yeah, but that's the crux, still, you know. But okay, we'll talk. We'll talk about it later. We'll yeah. talk. About, we'll You're say about the for United Alpha. Nations, <laughs> and you need to convince them that you have humanities you're the aliens here it is okay you're the aliens <laughs> and you need to convince the united nations you understand humanity which movie do you choose we're, we're i mean we've passed we've i did ooh, that. Ooh, this is, is better though this is better one. okay okay okay, 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 fine, okay. fine fine okay. so you're aliens and you have to sorry one more time and you're in front of the united nations and you have to prove to humanity that you understand them you're and my way of convincing the United Nations that I understand them is by choosing a movie to show them. Yeah, you're an idiot species. Yeah. So I say I get. Am I pretending to be a human, or am I just trying no, to? You're an alien. I'm trying to demonstrate my understanding. Yeah. Of their, okay. You have to be like, I understand you. Here is our favorite movie. Gotcha. Ooh, I. Th- mm, I don't. I don't. This. Uh, I think. Does Dallas. I mean, that's the thing. Yeah, can, probably. Can we just do any movie now? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why do the United Nations, so not just America? Yeah, not the non-United as Nations. a whole. No, the United Nations, the entire planet. I'd be like super bad. It might actually be a porno. But like probably a porno. <laughs> it might actually. We be a porno. have scanned your entire media collection. Yeah, and, and this seems to be the most popular. Yeah, this this right here. This. <laughs> This German underground. Just some guy like fucking his stepsister or something. Yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Well, we ended this one well. Yeah, there you go. super, super well. Uh, that was a good question though. That's a that's a better one. Thanks. That's it's closer. Yeah. Yeah. Took you a few tries, but you oh, got there. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for when we fucking watch uh, Schindler's List versus something, and you're like, which movie so would you Holocaust use to, to convince people that the Holocaust <laughs> happens? And I'm like, Sean, one of them is about... The, that's not going to be more random. So, um, you know... Are you crying? No. I'm a little... I rub my eye. Oh. So, uh, so then, anyway, we're going into some Christmas. <laughs> shut, shut up. Just shut up. We're ending the podcast. Shut okay. up. Uh, we, we're going to some Christmas episodes. Yeah. Uh, because that another holiday season has come around, and we're gonna we're gonna exploit it for views or something. I don't know. Whatever. Sure. People love Christmas. We love listeners. Send us presents. Yeah. Send us presents. Yeah. yeah. Not presents. <clears throat> send uh, us Cariellas. Yeah. Yeah. Send us Cariellas. Yeah. Because. You know, he just ghosted us for a long time. and yeah. We kind of ghosted him, too, though, let's be real. A little yeah. bit. It was his birthday a couple weeks ago. Oh, my God. Happy yeah. belated, Carrie. Yeah. Hey, Carrie, happy birthday. So what movies are we doing? Yeah, we're doing some Christmas movies. So we're going to do Christmas movies in the genre of uh, of family, family man, uh, learns lesson about family uh, uh, over Christmas. Christmas. 
because Christmas. So we are going to doing the classic of classics. I feel like I've never seen it actually. Yeah, me neither. It's a uh, Wonderful Life. Yeah, you've never seen it. I've never seen. It. I've seen I've like seen that movie moments so of many it. times. Yeah, it's my mom's favorite movie. Oh, well, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah. you know, or like favorite Christmas movie, or I don't know, one of the two. Yeah, that I don't movie, talk to my mom. Would, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> so it's so. <laughs> You need a bubbly break there, buddy? Um, <laughs> bubbly break. <laughs> bubbly break. Uh, it's a Wonderful Life versus uh, a Jingle All the Way. Yay. Oh, I can't wait for us all to just do our worst Schwarzenegger impression. Mine's pretty good. I, I believe that. Mine's not bad. Mine's very bad. Yeah, I look Turbo forward to that. man. Get to the top of Turbo man. Bleh. Hey, everybody. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, it's Christmas. Uh, That's your Jimmy Stewart, right? Yeah. It's Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> get, get, hey, get to the chopper. Oh, no. Yeah, next week's going to be brutal because Jimmy Stewart also is very impersonable. <laughs> yeah. Right. Mm. That'll be fun. No, I, I want it back now. No. That's not bad. That's, he's, cl- he's in there, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> well, I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh-huh. he's like he's speaking right from his sternum it's like oh my he's like almost like Ho-ho. he's like a low down mickey mouse and you can shut off the podcast anytime yeah we're done